is my jelly. Just a second up. Focus my pulling. I'll focus. You might notice there's a like a red light here. That's like a standby light. It is turned off. But all the time it's turned off, it's on standby. The only way it's turning the standby light off is actually switching the mains off, which is behind this sort of cabinet I have the television stood on. Sorry about the focus here. And I have to open the doors, reach round and turn it off at the back. So I bought this unit here, which I'm going to do an unpacking of. Just now, this package here. Just move around a bit. So here's a package, it feels like a bit like bubble wrap. Comes over pretty easy there. It's like a big, big bag almost envelope. It's bubble wrap, so uh, it's sticking a bit. This, this is what I expected. It's supposed to turn off your power when you switch off the television. This will also turn off the mains power. That's my understanding. Now I do have a similar unit to this which has been fine. I have that on another television. Yes, I have more than one television. does say up to 3,000 watts somewhere on here I believe. Show you the back. Try and get some of the reflections out. So my other unit, I don't know about this one, my other unit has a sort of infrared detector on, a wire coming from it, that the infrared remote control points towards and you have to almost press it twice to turn it off, once to turn off the television and once to turn off the unit itself, the mains power, which is what this I hope will similarly do. Uh, standby shutdown reduces energy uses, usage because your standby lights can take 40 pound a year 40 60 pound a year let me try and open this from the bottom i think no. let's turn it right way up so we just get that box there a bit glossy Quite well packed. Then we get this unit here. My other unit doesn't have wires. It's just like a almost extension box type thing that you plug in the wall. And that works fine. Now sometimes these can be, even though it's not really stuffed in all that well. So I guess I can just almost pull it all out. So we get a. Three pin socket for the UK. Just trying to make sure that's the right way up for you. 13 amps, 250 volts it says. BS1368 is that? A1363 A, sorry. like quite hard plastic we get a fuse well presumably a 13 amp fuse plug that's what indicates on the label we'll take this label off make sure you put the correct size fuse in for whatever you're using I'm not sure if you can see the 
It's not been printed there. Fused. Approved. BS license number. Looks like KWV4790, I think it is. Approved by NSIA, I think. And various other markings on there. I won't read them all out, but three pin means plug. And then you get this unit. Oh, it's, it's obviously got a click button here. I'm not sure what that's for. There's the back. That's got some imprinted writing here. If I can, I'll try and zoom in and show you that. I've been try I'm trying an experiment on my little finger there. So it keeps going out of focus this. Come on. Trying to get the reflections just right. You might be able to read that. Okay, let me get plugged in. I'll plug it in and then I'll come back. Well, I don't think this is going to be as good as my other one, actually. Because apparently the green button I showed you, the switch, to turn the telly on and off, you have to press that. Uh, whereas the other one I have, I can do it with the remote control for this separate way which comes off it and goes to an infrared detector. Anyway, I'm going to continue on with this. So I've plugged it in and basically it says switch it on and use it for a few minutes. So I'll switch on the telly from the back wall because it's turned off at the main power on the back, sorry, the lights on the back wall behind the telly at the moment. The red light will come on, I know it will, on standby. And it says use the telly normally while it sets up the standby. So the television is now switched on at the main power. You might notice the red light. It might be a bit faint. I'm not sure. Got my remote control here. Let's turn it on. It's coming on. Yeah, it's coming on. I'm not going to show you any televisions here because copyright reasons and such like. And it says basically use the television for a few minutes while it sets up this standby somehow. That's what it says in the instructions. Hopefully you can read them. So I'm going to give it about two minutes. I'll come back when I've done that. Well, it's been a few minutes now. I'm going to turn it off. It's 
standby light comes on. By the way, the standby light does go off when the television comes on, so not to distract you. Now, in about, well, within two minutes, I think it says, this standby light here should go off. I'll turn some this other light off so you might see it a bit clearer. Oops. Oh, that would be clearer, all right. Can't see anything. Sorry about the focus here, I need to get my focus sorted out on this camera. Probably have to set manual focus, it's got auto focus on. But anyway, within two minutes this light should go off. So I'll speed up this video until just before it goes off, okay? <laughs> Well, that was extremely quick, I would say 40 seconds, and as you probably, hopefully you can see that that Standby light has gone off there. And just let me get back into focus. Right, I'm going to turn it back on. Nothing. And I have to press this green button down here on the actual box to get back on the standby, apparently, just a second. It's come on, the standby lights come on, and then I have to press the controller. Now on my other unit, it actually senses when you're pressing this button, so I don't have to press that button. It has a separate cable and a little box on it, say about this big, that you can put somewhere, and that picks up the signal. So you're not having to go in the cabinet like there, I'm having to go in the cabinet to take it, well, t get the television chain back on and I'm, obviously I'm still having to press the button. But on the other unit I press it twice, one to sort of turn the standby on and one to actually turn the television on. Now apparently if I leave this on standby, it will turn off, I'm not going to show you that. But the other unit is certainly better than this because I don't have to actually go inside the television unit to turn it off. That's just a television change into a safe screen, sort of safe screen thing. So I've turned it off there on the remote control. Let's watch it again, it should turn off. I suppose it's a little bit of advantage here because the on off switch is a bit closer. I don't have to reach right round the back. Normally you have to reach right through the back of this cabinet to switch the switch on the wall. But here it's sort of bringing the main switch, if you like, to the front or near enough the front. I don't like the idea of all these cables all over to a certain extent either. The other unit doesn't really have that. It does. A bit like a mouse, I would say, like a computer mouse, smaller, that has an infrared sensor in that detects whether you want to turn it on and off. So you can do that remotely. The other unit also has a delay. It's recommended that there is a delay. Apparently there are two types of, particularly the other one, I use that can turn it off straight away. Or one with a delay. If you're using television, it's recommended apparently you need a delay on it so that after you turn it off, it'll take a bit of time to actually switch off the mains. Apparently, some televisions need that little bit of extra time from standby. So I'm going to waffle on a bit. 
This is the time. And after a while, this red standby light here should go off by itself without me pressing anything. I am pressing anything actually. I'm putting a remote control in my back pocket now. I'm hoping that you can make that out, that red standby light. You might just about make it out. Zoom in a bit, probably go out of focus. And it's, it has gone out now, it's very quiet. Sometimes the other one you can hear the relay click. Okay, so that's a bit of a review of this unit. I would suggest that I do like the other one better than this one. The one with a, like a separate cable and a little box about, about a bit like maybe the same size as a small computer mouse. That one you can do totally remotely. You don't have to go over to the television. This one I'm having to go over to the television unit to turn on the mains power in a way. Whereas the other ones I don't. So that's a suggestion is for televisions, you know, DVDs, game consoles, etc, etc, etc. Okay.